Merci. Thank you very much, President. Well, it's a strange feeling for us to celebrate the anniversary of the uh, Lisbon Treaty when it shouldn't have been adopted following the outcome of the referendums in France, Netherlands and Ireland. And the treatment of Greece has shown the anti-democratic nature of the current European institutions and the need to overhaul them to face the two challenges of our time, climate change and inequality. Annexing the Charter of Fundamental Rights to the Treaty has not been enough uh, to protect rights in the EU because it is simply a cover for a heartless market. The Treaty is not some kind of divine law. It needs to be questioned unceasingly. The Green New Deal w cannot be effectively implemented in the current framework. The resistance to uh, ecologically sustainable approach is hampered by a system that doesn't respect social rights. We see that was what is happening to pensions in France, supported by the European institutions, which has given rise to uh, unprecedented protests, which we're seeing again this week. Social dumping is encouraged by the dogma of free competition. The fight against tax evasion is something which is made impossible or extremely difficult for as long as tax havens such as Luxembourg and Ireland have a right of veto. So the treaty is used as a pretext to stop us acting. We're losing time. We're wasting time. Uh, we need a fundamental revolution. These old-fashioned rules need to be overhauled and brought into line to enable us to approach the future of Europe with confidence. We need to be able to consult the citizens. We need transparency of debate. We need no tolerance of lobbies. We need to adapt our rules to the requirements of our times. Uh, sustainable green rules, uh, uh, understanding of the need for protection. Uh, we need uh, tax and social harmonization. We need a sustainable approach rather than um, a central bank which does not respect the requirements for a Green New Deal and, and the transition that we need. We need to respect uh, the need of the people for real European cooperation so that we can respond to the needs of our time. These are the lessons that we should draw on the occasion of the anniversary of the Treaty of Lisbon. Thank you.